Tony Sullins came into round five of the MTA New South Wales Rally Championship sitting in third place. And whilst he's looking for a good showing here at the Accent Benchtop's Working Dog Rally, he's one of the drivers who's finished and scored points in every one of the eight heats so far. In the 12 kilometre brown dog stage, Sullen showed his form. He and co-driver Kaylee Newell were third quickest over the Shire roads, and this would be the trend the pairing would set all day. In the 13 kilometre blue dog stage, Sullen's and Newell were just six seconds off the winning time, with three four-wheel drive Evo Lancers in front sweeping the roads. Sullins had finished the heat fourth, despite a few issues in stage one. I was very daunted by the first stage. I sort of didn't really get a rhythm going on, but the second and third stage, I sort of pulled my act to get into gear and had a go, and yeah, the time seemed to be pretty good. Now, the first stage, you actually had a bit of an issue with gearbox selection as you, as you took off. Oh, you saw that, yeah. Well, it took me three goes to get into first gear at the start line, and then I went from first to second, and, and then just went bang and never, and just neutral. And I thought, oh, I started, to stop as if it was, I thought I'd blown the gearbox up and click second gear and drove off and it's been fine ever since, so don't know, fingers crossed, maybe something's going to give way. The second stage there was a lot of fast stuff and I was like, yeah, it's like, like ran out of top speed sort of and I thought geez the Evos are going to smoke us all through there but they didn't so I must have been holding my flat, foot flat at the right spots. The second passing over the Red Dog stage showed Sullen's true speed. He was 29 seconds quicker over the 14 kilometre test. The next stage was the repeat running of the Brown Dog stage. And once again, Sullins and Newell showed the true potential of this car on the fast-flowing Shire roads. They were third quickest, equaling the time of Richard Shimon in an Evo Lancer. In the final pass over the Blue Dog stage, there would be just seven seconds covering the top four. Sullins was third quickest and sitting firmly in fourth outright, ahead of Glenn Raymond in a Subaru. The first running of the Kelpie stage would see the Citroen team with a slow overall time. They were down in 16th on stage. And the streamers trailing the car wasn't for co-driver Kaylee Newell's birthday. Something else was surely at play. I was quite happy with the whole results up until the last stage. The, uh, there's a turn right off the road which probably everyone's going to complain about. I, I don't know what happened, I was a bit slow on the uptake and overshot the corner and went backwards down the road through the bunning and stalled the car and started it and stalled it again and started it and then drove off quietly in second gear and gave away 20, 30 seconds I'd say, but so be it. That was, that was my major faux pas for the day. What about these two night stages? I don't know, to be honest with you. Blind in night's not really a good thing, but uh, and I'm more worried about the, the conditions, it's dead calm and once the cold, cold air comes in and holds that, traps that dust down, it's going to get worse as we go further down the fields and I'm not up the front of the field enough to be, to be an advantage I don't think, so uh, I'll drive flat out and see what happens. Like the rest of the field, the dust was lingering and Sullins was 23 seconds slower over the final stage than his previous pass. But remarkably, he was third fastest. Less than 10 seconds separating him from the two four-wheel drive Lancer Evos that beat him. Sullins right, jumped up to be fifth outright, fifth in heat two, and the first two-wheel drive. Man, it's dusty. Wow, is it dusty. Um, went as fast as I could through there. I don't know how we went. I was hoping to make up some time on this for, for our stuff up from early on in the day, but I don't know whether we did or not, to be honest with you. I, I couldn't go much quicker without crashing. We could never win because you don't get points for, for winning your class. So we had to win outright, outright, and you know that's not really achievable over a whole year. So 
we, we're just going to keep plucking away. Blind rally, old car, little, new car, old driver. Happy birthday to Kaylee. With each of the 10 heats now finished, Sullins maintains his third position on the MTA New South Wales scoreboard, heading into the final round in October.